I don't think there is a time when filming that I feel more awkward than when I'm trying to take a thumbnail picture. Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Libra Loca. Today's topic is firming skin treatments. It's actually more of a summer topic, but yeah, if you're like me, you deal with saggy skin all year round. And I'm going to talk body products today, but everything ties in. And as always, I'm going to start with some facts. Why do we get saggy skin? Then some scientific um, knowledge. Then I'm going to tackle some myths, some things that some people think may help, which totally don't. And I'm going to show you what products I've been testing regarding this issue lately. If you're like me and have kids, you will notice that their skin is firm and supple. And as you age, I'm 38, I'm going to be 39 next spring, um, your skin just starts falling down. And it's not like wrinkles, it's just you get to look tired, you know, this bulldog face. And the reason is that your skin has some connective tissue, some collagen that keeps everything in place. And this collagen is under constant attack. It's under attack from free radicals that are through come through pollution, through sun damage and all this stuff. It's under attack from sugar because guilty as charged. I eat sugar retreats every single day. It is under attack when you're a smoker, so smokers age much earlier than others. It's under attack when you're out in the sun without protection. Young skin has means to repair the collagen, the elastin, the laminin, all these fancy sounding parts of our skin's connective tissue that keep things up and perky. But the older you get, the more slowly the skin starts to yeah, produce them themselves and then it needs some stimulus from outside and this is where skincare comes in. Firstly, take into account environmental factors, outside factors. Wear SPF, eat healthy, lots of vegetables, not, no artificial sugar, make sure you're not stressed, make sure you get enough sleep, make sure you don't smoke, and make sure you cleanse your face so you get rid of pollution. But even with all that, I think I lead a pretty healthy lifestyle despite the sugar addiction. You will notice that, yeah, see down here, the skin just isn't as firm as it used to be in my early 20s. And this is especially true not only for my face, but for my boobs and for my upper arms. You know, these charming bingo wings. There's only so much you can do when you do sports and after breastfeeding two kids, yeah. Things aren't as perky as they used to be in this department. So, of course, with nutrition and everything sorted, I turn to cosmetics. And there is actually, there are quite some things that have proven scientifically that they can increase collagen buildup and that they can increase firm skin not only on your face but on your body because your yeah, skin everywhere is the same. There are some usual suspects that always get mentioned which is retinol, which is AHAs and BHAs as in chemical exfoliants and which is niacinamide, all of which increase a little bit of the collagen production but not that much that you're going to be able to see a real difference. And then there are other substances that come into play and they're called peptides or peptide derived. And they have fancy, fancy names that you can easily look out for in the products you um, buy. And they are called like Essence Skin or Relistase, Chronolin or Sinhaikan. And these sound made up, but I can give you the scientific name of, for example, Skin High Can, but I'm not going to pronounce this, I'm going to write it up here. Yeah, no one's going to read this from the ingredient list. So yeah, there are shortcuts. And if you see them, there is scientific studies that prove that they increase collagen production. There are other things that brands try to tell us increases collagen production or firms skin without claiming to do anything for the collagen. And this is, for example, widely um, used caffeine. There is no scientific backup that caffeine actually increases collagen production and thus firms the skin in the long way. Caffeine has diuretic effects, which you know if you drank too much coffee and had to pee every 20 seconds. And it has a vasoconstricting or a blood vessel tightening effect, both of which make the skin apply firmer and produce the appearance of yeah, edema. 
but this is a short time effect. There is no scientific proof of the long term effects. That doesn't mean that there are no long term effects, it's just that there are no evidence based studies that prove this claim. Another thing that you can see all over Pinterest is uh, dry brushing. And I have to admit, I'm a huge fan of dry brushing. This is a brush, these are natural bristles, and then there are some, um, yeah, whoopsies. No, no idea how to call them in there. And you grab it, this one's by Miu Miu, and then you do a long stroke starting from your ankles and move your way up to the heart. And this is painful when you do it at first because these are firm bristles and you have to make sure that your skin is not, you don't have broken capillaries, you don't have eczema, you don't have acne because this can aggravate these conditions. But I can tell you that you get used to the pain. And now do it two to three times a week. I would recommend you do it more often, even though there are some people in the interwebs telling you to do it twice a day, because this is essentially exfoliating. You exfoliate your legs with a dense bristle brush. And that is great for increasing blood flow, which makes the skin appear plumper. What it doesn't do is detoxify. I'm sorry, my liver detoxifies my body, my kidneys detoxify my body. This brush won't end. Honestly, I don't get this whole detoxifying thing. When I read about detoxifying symptoms that you're going to experience, like vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, who on earth would want to detoxify? Our bodies are completely capable of getting rid of this stuff themselves if you don't insist on putting more crap into your body any, every day, but yeah, then this brush won't help either. With that being said, anything that increases blood flow will help with saggy skin. And of course, you wouldn't be here if you weren't like me, prone to put products on your skin. And this is the Skin 689 from Switzerland. Uh, they do a firming cream for the face, they do a firming cream for the neck and decollete, and they do a firming cream for the upper arms, and I think they do one for cellulite and your bum as well. I received these two SPR samples and I have used them quite some time. I really enjoy them. They make my skin feel tight and firm. They are hydrating. They have a nice, very delicate scent to them. There's no tingling sensation, anything like that. I use them every night before I go to bed. Um, but they don't contain any of the ingredients that I listed before that. They do contain antioxidants, which are always great in prevention, and um, they do contain caffeine, which I talked about before, and they do contain Cocos Crisantos bulb extract, which they claim improves collagen production. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying that there are no independent scientific studies proving this claim. So in the end, it all comes down if you are a believer or not. And to be completely fair, they don't um, claim to firm skin in the long run. They just say for visibly firmer, smoother and more supple skin with a daily use. That's true. As long as you use them daily, your skin will appear more supple. But yeah, I can't vouch if they um, firm the skin in the long run. And as they are pretty pricey, I'm not sure yet if I am going to repurchase. But for now, especially before especially when, so when I have my boobs or my arms out, or my boobs, yeah, when I show some cleavage and have my upper arms out, like upcoming party season, I'm going to rely on them to give just this little extra oomph that sport won't do. Again, I feel like this is a pretty pressing video because I tell you, you get old, you get saggy, there's not really much that you can do about it, you can just slow it down. I don't want to sugarcoat things for you. I just want to give you the facts so you can make an informed decision whether you're going to spend your money on something or not. Please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed me rambling about saggy skin and bulldog faces. Make sure to subscribe so you can see my face get saggy with every new video I upload. And yeah, I'm going to see you all very soon with my next video. Bye! So, and probably bring way too